Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping by the garden today. We're just going to go over how to tell if your succulents are happy or if they start stretching. You know, this means they, they are lacking sun. Now, succulents with coatings on them, succulents that are colored, they really need a lot of full sun. Full sun means like six to eight hours of sun a day, which here in Florida, Central Florida Zone 9B, you can see that I have to put an ultraviolet ray shade cloth on it. Because if I put them out in full sun here in the midsummer, which is between July and August, September, you know, June, July, August, September, they will burn. Even in May, they tend to burn a little bit. And we fixed a lot of that burning on the leaves, but now that we have stretched out succulents from not getting sun the past couple of days, you can see just from four days of no sun, the succulent's starting to stretch. This one is not supposed to look like that. It's supposed to look like this little guy over here. Let's go take a look. See that one right there? That's what that is supposed to look like. It's a violet queen. It's a Echeveria violet queen. You can see she is not stretching. And the other ones haven't stretched either. That little one on the end is, that purple one right there in the middle, she's starting to stretch as well. And that's because we've had so much rain lately and no sun. Plus, before I got the shade cloth and before I got this all set up out here, I bring my succulent cart out during the day. I put it in when it turns about seven o'clock at night, I put it in the lanai. And then if it rains, I can always take it inside. This is how I protect my succulents from the rain. Now for stretched out succulents, we're gonna have to fix this. So once they elongate, they don't go back to shape. This is what Echeverias are supposed to look like. They're supposed to stay nice and compact. They're not supposed to stretch at all. Give you a little view of some. We have this little Echeveria Neon Breaker, which she is flowering, pushing out a little baby shoot in the middle there, you can see. And we're doing really good. I can tell that she's starting to stretch as well. So I'm just going to go over some tips on how to fix this little guy. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you water thoroughly before you go ahead and cut the succulent. Because once you take that cutting, it's not going to be able to suck up any water until it shows some root action on it. Which usually takes about a week or two. So we already have some roots growing, some aerial roots growing out of her because I took a lot of these leaves off. You want to pluck some leaves off and then cut. So we're going to make a cut right here with some sharp garden shears on a little bit of an angle. And I'm going to hopefully wish, I'm going to wish for some babies to pop out of here. Now this is a hybrid. This is a uh, Pachyveria powder puff, I believe. And she is a hybrid succulent with two succulents. So this is really hard to grow and propagate babies from, which we're getting some babies. So we're gonna take all these leaves off, which all you do is bend them down. They should come off really easily. Now you wanna water really thoroughly beforehand, like I said, because they're not gonna have any roots to suck up water and they have to survive that time without the water. This is a powdery succulent, so we don't wanna damage the powder on the top there. Wanna be really careful careful as you can be when you're handling these they're just so hard not to touch the powder <laughs> so just try not to as much as you can and then you want to take off leaves up until the point that you want so we have a lot of leaves here which we're gonna go ahead and take off you want to make sure you're not taking chunks like we just did there just want to go ahead and move your succulent back and forth the leaf until it breaks or you can push it down and over and twist down over and twist and you know you got a nice clean break let me put that down when you have a succulent leaf like this and these can propagate you want to save all your succulent leaves we're going to try to propagate her and i think that's good enough we have a nice little rosette oh we're going to take this one off i don't like that so you want to have a nice little rosette shape to her and we're going to leave her we're going to leave her out just let this collapse over for about a good two days or so the bigger the stem the longer it's going to take to collapse and then what we can do is go ahead and stick her in some dry, dry soil and don't water until you see roots popping out. Once you see those roots popping out, then you can go ahead and start watering. Now, when it's in the soil, when you go ahead and plant this in two days, once that end clouses, now clouse just means let the, letting that end harden off, scab over. And once that scabs over, you can definitely plant it directly in some succulent potting soil. I add some perlite in my soil because we have a lot of humidity here in Florida, but, um, 
Once you do that, you're okay. You don't water for about a week after you plant it in that soil, and then you know you're good to go. In about a week, you can give it a little bit of a drink. You're not gonna need to water too much in the beginning because you know it doesn't have much of a root system on it. So just give it a little bit just to plump it back up, and then you know you're good to go. You can wait a few days. It's all gonna depend. Your watering is gonna depend on how fast that soil is drying out, how big of a container it's in, how much of a root system it has. So just make sure that soil stays dry a few days between the waterings. Feel the bottom leaves of your succulent. If they don't feel that plump, you can go ahead and water. Now that little cutting might get a little deflated because it doesn't have any roots anymore. This little guy is not gonna get deflated because we're gonna continue to water this plant just as it was, like it had a head on it. We, you know, as if we didn't take anything off of there. We're gonna water it regularly. This way, more succulents pop out. Now you can take a lot of these leaves off if you want, but I'm gonna leave them on until them babies pop out because those leaves actually help to create babies a lot faster than if I was to take everything off and leave a bare stem. So you wanna leave a couple of leaves on there, at least two or three if you can. And then we're gonna see, see what this one does, this Violet Queen, see if we have to fix her. But you definitely wanna keep them in bright, the same bright direct sunlight, just maybe not as intense because they will start to stretch. These cuttings are still growing. So you wanna keep it in bright light, you know, at least six hours, eight hours of full sun a day. And then you can go ahead and plant it up until this stem and you're good to go, you guys. Water sparingly in the first couple of weeks. And then after that, you can soak your pots all the way through like you should be doing the rest of your succulents. We're gonna be doing a watering video and I'm gonna show you actually how I water this stuff and how I prevent um, from spider mites, aphids, and bugs attacking my plants. Scale, I know scale is really popular on these too. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. If you need any help on propagating your succulents, stuff that I haven't covered yet, let me know, comment below, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time out in the garden. Bye-bye.